Yankees fans, we have another situation where the Yankees are not using common sense <laughs> again. You see, I'm going to go back to this Friday when A-Rod, that little rant he had, asking why the Yankees are leading off Aaron Judge. When he's been your best offensive player. Heck, he's been the best offensive player in Major League Baseball. You're not giving him opportunities to knock in runs. You're depending on others to knock him in. Which makes absolutely no sense. So yes, he, he does he says that. It goes viral. What the, do the Yankees do? Instead of using common sense originally, right? And doing what's common sense. He says, okay, why you're, you're not... Why are you leading him off? Okay, the Yankees feel heat. We see it in game three. The Yankees finally put Aaron Judge in second. They bet him at second, which they should have done a long time ago. Now we have a situation where a whole bunch of people were questioning how ICAF would perform come playoff time. It's not a secret. Everybody ha has said... ICAF is going to cost the Yankees when it comes to the playoffs and high stakes games. And she cost the Yankees this game. It's unbelievable how the Yankees don't use common sense, or at least the guy screws up twice. Bye, you have to leave this game. We're taking you out. But that doesn't happen. The Yankees have some sort of love fascination with ICAF. Like, they seem like they're romantically in love with this guy. A lot of high IQ baseball guys have been saying, even John Boy got into a little, he didn't get, he didn't respond to IKF's father, but IKF said that he wanted, essentially wanted to box uh, John Boy. He wanted to put the gloves on with John Boy and get it on. Because who dares uh, bash IKF, who has been defensively garbage? Okay, IKF comes up with a few clutch hits here and there, but he's not. Work Somebody on Twitter gave me a great stat the other day, or uh, and I can't find it. He said something on the lines that the Yankees have never won a playoff series or playoff game with a bad defensive shortstop. It has never happened in history. So the Yankees know IKF is trash. They all, they all know this. And they leave Peraza out of the AOD as a roster. Are you kidding me? I know Aaron Boone right now is catching a lot of flack. But this game falls on IKF. Severino would have had zeros across the board. I know he struggled a bit, but he settled down. All those runs IKF was responsible for. Somebody else tweeted me uh, after Bader hit that home run. Says something about uh, Yankees 5, IKF 3. Wow, insane. So we go, so, so, so if the Yankees lose the series, it falls on essentially Brian Cashman and the Nerds again. And Aaron Boone. Because now we know that Luis Severino came out, kind of swiped that boom. Clay Holmes came out and said, hey, I was available. I don't know why they didn't use me. So now we're seeing a little clubhouse rift where players are speaking out against Aaron Boone, which is common sense that a lot of people have been saying this. Maybe Aaron Boone is not the right manager for the New York Yankees. But then again, I'll go back to what A-Rod said. It's... The Yankees want to do it their way, and if it doesn't work, they catch flat, uh, catch heat. They change things up. So that's what's uh, going to happen with I can't field. I can't field. Can't with a K. I can't field. If it was up to me, he'll never see a game ever again with the Yankees. Maybe make him a, a utility player. I would not start the guy. Everybody said he he's going to hurt you come playoff time, and look, bam, he hurt you. I don't blame I don't blame uh, Clark Schmidt. I don't blame Wandy Parata. You could put some blame on Aaron Boone for not putting Clay Holmes in there. 
Well, the Yankees got it to that spot because of IKF. Blame everybody. Blame Aaron Boone all you want. But that game is on IKF. Horrible. Send him to the gutter. I never want to see that guy's face again. He's complete trash. You could talk about this and that. The game, the Yankees should have won that game. Severino could, should have had zeros across the board. IKF should not play game four. Period. End of the discussion. And I'll say this. If um, the Yankees lose the series, the Yankees should fire Aaron Boone. Because we all know Brian Cashman is not going anywhere for a long time. But Brian Cashman has made some boneheaded decisions as well. Traded for Montas, where is he at? Traded for Efros, where is he at? Getting damaged uh, goods. These are players that should have been helping the Yankees come playoff time. Uh, Chapman. Didn't discipline him earlier. Where is he at? Oh, yeah, he flew back to uh, Miami. Yankees are in shambles. If you ask me at this point, Yankees still have a shot with all the momentum. Now goes to the Cleveland Guardians, a team that is not even as good as the 2017 Indians. They are a watered-down version. You should have beat these guys with ease. But dumb decisions, being romantically in love with IKF, not sitting him down after two crucial plays, boneheaded plays, this is what you get. You get a, a big giant L. And that's what you get for... Uh, Putting uh, Aaron Judge as the leadoff guy. You lose game two as well. We, we don't need A-Rod to come out and speak for us. Obviously, he's smart. But it's common sense. You should know this. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. In my opinion, I'm sick to my stomach. I don't know what to say. It's a, a broken record. It's recycled nonsense. I see it over and over again come playoff time. When it comes to Aaron Boone being the manager of the New York Yankees. Uh, a lot of this dumb nonsense happens. And by the way, you will catch me appearing on MOY News TV again more often. Me and Pete have a little surprise for you guys. So again, this has been Felix from MOYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.